Josh Rucker, and welcome to today's vlog. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I do and adapt to a chest and tricep workout. So, laying on a flat bench, as you can see, I use this cushion, plus there's a, a nice, like, um, I don't know, opening between these two pads. So, I take this pad and I kind of stick it right there. So, it's kind of flat, plus transferring on this, I wanna have a cushion. I'm really really bony so to get laid down on the bench comfortably and to get up I take a rope and I tie it to the bottom of the bench so then I have it right here Let me adjust this chair really so then as I lay back I use the rope to guide me back and I leave it right here on my leg now once I get situated on this bench, I use a belt to hold me on the bench because I'm paralyzed from my belly button down, so I have no hip control. So this just get, makes me feel more sturdy on the bench. So if I was to lose, you know, balance, I wouldn't just fall off the bench. I could kind of get my, uh, you know, balance all together and, and put the bar back. So as I keep going up in the weight, um, I'm lowering my reps you know, just for strength and stuff. So let's go, here we go. And then I use this, grab the other side of the bench, really good. Uh, pull myself back up. It's so much easier because I used to struggle, you know, trying to get up. Because again, I don't have hip control. So using a rope like that to help you get up and lay back down the bench is really beneficial. It makes you, you know, feel really independent and confident in your lifts and stuff. Uh, a lot of times I don't have a spotter. So again, I got safety harnesses. So if I uh, was to do the pressing to a failure, and I couldn't, I would just let it come down, and let it rest on my, right about where my neck is, and, be, and it'll be safe, and then I can crawl out from underneath there. So, that's one way how I adapt to getting on a bench and off a bench to be able to work out. So when I was close grip bench press, working on my triceps, still gonna work my chest, but I keep my elbows in, and as I push up, I keep them in, so like I'm trying to push with my triceps. Again, still using the belt, still using the rope to get me up. It's all about adapting to your situation. All right, now I'm moving on to dumbbell overhead tricep extensions. I like this exercise a lot because as I go over my head, instead of grabbing onto my chair, I, let, I do not grab onto my chair and it makes me really work on my core and my balance as I'm working on my tricep. So basically, like I said, you get more bang for your buck and as you go heavier weight, you know, you definitely use your core more Right now, I'm only using a 20 pound dumbbell just to warm up, and then I'm gonna move up to a 30 pound. But again, this really makes me concentrate on my balance as I'm sitting here in the chair to be able to balance myself, 
I know I make, I make it look easy, but you gotta remember, I've been doing this for 18 years. So, like I said, practice makes perfect. And more and more, if you do exercises and workouts like this, you'll get more confident and independent, especially living with a disability. As you can tell too, I'm not really humping the you know uh, reps. I'm focusing, really concentrating on that tricep, really concentrating on my balance and my core. And then we'll switch arms. Same thing. You can see I'm kind of a little bit wiggly, but like I said, it just makes me really concentrate on my core as I focus on this tricep. And I come down, get the stretch, touch my shoulder, come up and rotate and squeeze my tricep. All right, now moving on to actually incline chest press. As you can tell, I bought a bench that I can actually adjust the bottom part of it so it's more on the incline. That helps me to be able to stay secure on the bench while bench pressing, especially because I don't have, you know, feeling or control of my lower extremities. So I don't want to feel like I'm sliding out. Again, I'm using the rope to lace myself back comfortably, get in position, grab my belt. This is an extra large so we can go around the bench and me. Get secured in. There we go. Put my hands at a good width. About shoulder, a little bit outside of shoulder. I don't have a lot of weight on because I'm not really focusing on heavy weight, especially I've been having a lot of shoulder problems. So I'm just using decent weight and slowing down the reps, making my chest really work. Here we go, elbows down, press up. You come down, you gotta touch like a bottom kind of of my upper chest. Back up. stay in one position and, and I can stay in my chair but still get the benefits of my work in my chest. So I'm doing basically crossovers, cable crossovers. Again, this really engages my core and everything as I sit here and press down. So I'm going to kind of fly out like this. As I come, I'll turn and I'll press and cross over. Really squeeze that chest. Get out here, nice and fly, way out, stretch, get a nice good stretch, press down, turn, Squeeze that inner chest. And then I'm going to go right into super setting tricep press downs. Keep your elbows like locked to your side. Whew, well, there you have it. What a great workout. I'm telling everybody, man, exercise is so good for everybody, especially people with disabilities. I'm telling you, it gives you confidence, independence. I really love working out, man, the feeling, how I feel, how I look. Also, like I said, I used to be really, really scared about falling out of my chair. Exercise helped me get stronger and confidence in myself. If I fell out of my chair, I could get back in. I practice every day, plus these workouts make me stronger to be able to lift my body up and get back in the chair. So. Give this workout a try. If you guys want any other videos, any kind of uh, videos, just let me know. Thank you guys so much for checking me out. I'll see you guys soon. Boom.